the toolkit gang led by the opposition. Joining me on the news track, representing the Shiv Sena, Rajya Sabha member of Parliament, spokesperson of the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Balasaheb Thakre, Priyanka Chaturvedi, squaring off against her, Shaina NC of the BJP. Uh, we've got Shudipto Sen, who's a member of the IFI jury, is a filmmaker himself, and Ashok Pandit, who will present a contra perspective. So let me go across to Priyanka Chaturvedi first, because the government, the likes of Vivek Agnihotri, also Anupam Kher, calling this a uh, hit job against the government of the day, led by the opposition, part of a toolkit gang working at cross purposes with this government. How do you respond from that? With that, let's start from there. You know, the problem in the country is that the narrative has been reduced to anyone critical of the government is critical of the nation. Anyone critical of Narendra Modi ji is criticizing the nation. The nation and the government are two separate things. The government is elected every five years and that cannot be interspersed with the country. And that is the main difference. Similarly, we are seeing what happened with Kashmiri Pandit is being reduced to just a movie, one of the various movies. You, you, he was ma making a point about Schindler's List being criticized. I think if you just do a basic Google search, criticism about Schindler's List, you'll find thousands of them. Are we saying, are we saying a movie that was oriented towards profit making because none of them have been, none of the proceeds have gone towards rehabilitating Kashmiri Pandits? Has, was, the intent was that while bringing out certain uh, facts of history, uh, is something that uh, is about Kashmiri Pandits. How has it changed the lives of Kashmiri Pandits? And when I talk about the government of India and I say it with authority because I have got these answers from the parliament, three questions are debates that we have in the parliament. Whether it is about rehabilitation of Kashmiri Pandits, whether it is about ensuring that because in 2014 and a post Article 370 removal, the promise was that the Kashmiri Pandits would be able to return back to their home. Have they returned back to their homes? You will get the answers in the various questions that I've asked and they have not. Out of the 800 families that chose to stay in Kashmir post the 90s uh, uh, exodus are now moving out in the year 2021-22. They are choosing to move out because they feel unsafe. Lots of these government employees that became a part of the uh, prime minister package are now feeling insecure because they have been victims of targeted killings. And again, I would want to repeat, 6,000 homes were promised during the Prime Minister uh, when PM package was announced for Kashmiri Pandits. It has only managed to complete 15% of the now, now the My question, my question is not about one second. Yes. Uh, just let me complete. My question is not about a movie. There would be a criticism coming anyone's way. But uh, connecting it to only the, the, that entire Kashmiri Pandit exodus is being questioned, I'm sorry, nobody is challenging that. Nobody is challenging the terrorism that was faced by, through Islamist terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. Nobody questioned the facts of the uh, entire, uh, you know, events that happened and unfolded in 1990s. What he's talking about is a movie which he felt and the jury felt that was disturbing as well as more propaganda driven. So I do not know why we're reducing the Kashmiri Pandit's issues and their rehabilitation justice uh, that they seek to just a movie. And why are we debating no, so that? Those are two separate the issues. The fact that more needs why, to why be done for Kashmir issue? issue. No, Kashmiri you have Pandit made a movie on Kashmiri is not in question. and their rehabilitation. Yes. Sure, so have sure. you made a movie about what happened to the Kashmiri Pandit in the hope that they, there would be closure and there would be some action taken? I want to understand from you and through your channel and through this discussion, what has changed for them? No. Sure, I that's a good question. I let China respond to, to that question. And tell me, is those are good is questions. Debating, debating yeah, has enough been done? Has statement? enough not been done? So those are good questions. We're focusing on what Nadav Lapid said and China NC. Just a very basic search on the guy would say he has a love-hate relationship with his homeland. He said about Israel, the collective soul of Israel is a sick soul. Something in the deepest essence of Israeli existence is false. It's rotten. It's not just Netanyahu, this is about all of Israel. I think this Israeli sickness or nature is characterized by young Israeli men, smiling, muscular, who don't have any questions, who don't raise any questions, who don't have any doubts. Uh, they have a dichotomous vision of existence. He said all of this in an interview to a Toronto-based uh, magazine. Now, China, he's the man of all people who could have been chosen to be the international jury head. He's the man who is officially picked to come and this, in some senses, seemed to be a self-made embarrassment. Rahul, firstly, let me please say, as the juror, he is welcome to make comments on technical, aesthetic sure. quality, 
the of social course. cultural relevance of the film but having no knowledge of what kashmiri pandits have gone through and not having the basic sense of what happened in the 90s with the exodus and who were these islamic terrorists from pakistan who were responsible he makes statement after statement and please let me quote what his own israeli ambassador has said he says that i am no film expert but this insensitive presumptuous for him to speak about historic events before deeply studying them and which are an open wound in india because many of those involved are still around and paying the price for it this is the statement <coughs> of the israeli ambassador now my limited point is no but you didn't answer <coughs> my question why invite this man who has a very very bitter film. track record with his own country who is known to be a trouble maker why invite him as the head of your jury so you have said that you know uh, uh, why did we invite if we didn't yes. invite or didn't invite is a secondary question here we are discussing you have somebody who comes to india and makes a statement which is so distasteful and shameful because he doesn't even know the historical facts what happened to the kashmiri pandits in the 90s has been depicted in this film as has been done by schindler's list or during the holocaust so if he is here to make a political comment and to gain traction with sensational commentary it needs to be despised it needs to be spoken against unequivocally do sure. you understand the filmmaker has made a film it's insensitive to speak without knowing basic historic facts so my limited point is now that he has come and made this statement the ambassador has made a counter statement it is for us as a country to stand united and speak unitedly this is the international forum which is taking cognizance of a, a mad hatter's comment if you want to call it or somebody who should have been sudeep to said you were at the ifi as one of the jury members people, other members what happened even speak. what we do you make of the manner in which uh, this uh, particular filmmaker ended up saying what he did you were there give us your sense of what happened uh rahul we were given 22 films to judge okay and uh, this is out of more than 450 entry uh, this year uh, this edition of ep and uh, if you know the know the procedure irrespective of the place the all the international film festivals like khan valin rotterdam toronto we have a practice that we are given a certain number of film which is something close to 20 to 25 this year we have 22 films 15 films for the international competition and seven films for the debut directors now out of this 22 films we are supposed to give six awards and the, these awards are best film best director best actor best actress a special jury award and the best debut director mm -hmm. so from 20th of november to 26th of november we watched all these 22 films categorically sometime we repeat those because you have to understand rahul this year one of the entry was the film of christoph janusi if you know the name he is the tallest filmmaker in the in the world today the living legend uh, christoph janusi his film was featuring in that the list of the 22 film competing for international competition unfortunately we could not give award to that film also so you can imagine how difficult was the whole Uh, 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 the, the 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 decision making process so all six days seven days we watch the film we discuss the technical aspects we discuss the cultural aspects aesthetical aspects of the film socio political impacts of the film and finally unanimously we we reach to the conclusion that these five films which got the six award one film got two awards and rest four got four awards so all this decision was unanimous and on the next day that is 27th at 10 o'clock in the morning we presented an official presentation to the festival authority which includes the nfbc chairman uh, uh, ceo the festival director the government of india representatives and it was an official presentation by the jury board we five were present there and in that was uh, after that within next half an hour we had a press conference where we five were sitting there on table in front of the uh, Uh, a, a journalist from all over the world it was a packed house press conference 
we had a wonderful discussions with the press and there ends our job we have handed over the our our okay. our to the authority now after that we are no more part of the jury board but definitely we are designated as the juries so we were given the opportunity to present uh, the awards in the stage so as other juries one from uh, the pascal shawans from uh, france uh, 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 xavier from uh, spain uh, 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 goto from uh, he is an oscar nominee uh, from us uh, nadev and me so we were divided uh, you know presented the award the citation there now you have to understand so far we were talking about the films which got the awards 70 18 films we could not give awards that includes kashmir file that includes uh, christoph janusi's film so that is the practice that is the ethics of an a festival that we talk about the films which got award we don't talk about the film which didn't get award so why did nadav lapit stand up and start uh, uh, dissing uh, give me just two one yeah, so minute to complete how did he start dissing uh, kashmir files is propaganda suddenly uh. suddenly nadav went to that uh, 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 the podium to talk about the film which is uh, kashmir file which was not part of the uh, uh, film which got award so it was unethical it was not he was not supposed to talk about any film there he was supposed to talk about the the process we gone through so so far everything whatever had happened before, uh, we, we, in the in the jury board room that closed room it was all we agreed together and we did the decision together but suddenly in front of that uh, the, the the distinguished guests the chief minister ministers suddenly he uh, in a self style way the way he has done from years Uh, throughout the world in his in his country also he gone uh, he gone and say these words vulgar so to me a filmmaker whom we have given the opportunity to speak on the podium we have given opportunity to come uh, in the in front of 5000 film lovers i think this is vulgar what he did in the oh, sure. in what the he did is vulgar but it also seems ashok pandey that someone should have done better due diligence here is a man who is a history sheeter in terms of making such kind of vulgar comments we've given him a platform to come out and this us some of this should have been anticipated and better prepared for don't you think uh, good evening rahul uh, rahul see uh, we are looking things at a very surface level okay that uh, he did this and he spoke spoke about the film and all that there is a entire strategy behind the the statement which is issued there is a proper planning under which he has issued the statement the reasons are to damage the country and to undermine the exodus and genocide of kashmiri pandits now you cannot you cannot differentiate between or keep two things apart as far as kashmir files is concerned and the statement is concerned what is kashmir files rahul kashmir files is a depiction of true depiction of what happened to kashmiri pandits in the 1980s late 80s and 90s it is about my genocide it is about my ethnic cleansing it is about my exodus it is 25% of what exactly happened to us 75% is not shown so an entire lobby which is uncomfortable with the truth which has come out in the open is suffering so there are people the enemies within our country and enemies outside our country who was our out there to defend vivek agnihotri to defend this thought process to defend the entire truth which has been which has come out in the open 2002 i made a film called sheen i made a documentary they it was it was tabled down it was it was condemned it was not allowed to come out in the open because they were powerful people today the times have changed today everything is on the media everything is on the social media so the 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 uh, the way kashmir files has disturbed the narrative they are they are they are totally cosmopolitan Now, Rahul, I want to ask one more thing before I end. I want to ask, as a filmmaker or as a citizen of this country, what the silence of the film industry on the attack on a filmmaker and his creativity. There is a total silence. Number two, I held responsible the director of film, uh, director of festi uh, festivals and the INB ministry to take action against those people. who are responsible to bring this man as a chairman of the jury they they have to own the responsibility 
They cannot run away from the responsibility. Let China MC respond to that. British it's not as if he stood up at some terrorism. private forum uh, to make terrorism. these comments. He was invited uh, Raul, uh, as the Raul. chief, as the head of the jury to Raul. our film festival without any basic checks about this man. That seems to be a big miss, China. Raul, Raul, he has supported terrorism. Rahul, I just make but condemning this point. film, by, by calling this film as propaganda, is 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 is. is Let Raul, China NC respond to the important questions you make. And calling it vulgar. So, Rahul, I will only say that this is obviously a toolkit mafia that seems to be working. They have worked in the past too. This is not going to deter India, so to say. Or one comment of one loose cannon is not going to completely change the. No, but you're not answering my question, China. You're deflecting. One has the question is: Kashmir We file. invited him. My we point, didn't check no, his no, background no, no, or track record, and he's deflecting. come to our forum and he's dissing us in this fashion. And it's not as if he's done it for the first time, so it comes as a surprise. He has a past track record of doing exactly this, and yet for some reason he's the one who was picked. To be the head of the jury, he's not standing in some random town square and saying this. He was picked and invited as the head of the jury. Explain why. So, how can you hold us responsible when there were four jury members present at this press conference who chose not to speak? And obviously, there was a collective opinion which Mr. Lapid was just to be presenting on technical aspects and all kinds of other issues which were more technical in nature. <coughs> Having said that, if he has chosen to use this forum for, uh, to represent a p complete propaganda, if he uh, talks about uh, you know, blinkers on for the Holocaust but he's not accepting what Kashmir files is showing vis-a-vis -vis Kashmiri Pandits and the horrific terrorists that were part of this entire uh, film which were portrayed as Pakistan and which is an obvious fact and where you have the ambassador of Israel come out and apologize on his behalf I think it's important Ashok for Pandit, us to China makes the point that, that you know why why blame the organizers if to. they get people with the same point of view then others will say oh they only fill the jury up with bucks there should be diverse points of view why hold this guy's views against him? He's entitled to his points of view. Why should the organizers have to explain? But Rahul, he's used this for Rahul, his own agenda, if you see which we need to highlight. If you this is his own agenda. Let Ashok speak, please. Rahul, if you see his track record, the entire media has been quoting his statements before this. If a proper research would have been done, See, you are, you are handing over a chairman of a jury of one of the biggest festivals of the world. That's iffy. You cannot hand over the reins on a, to a person who has been a Palestine supporter and who has been issuing statements left, right and center. He is a politician, more than a filmmaker. How can you don't, you could have found great filmmakers apart from him. So when he has done this, the government of India has to own the responsibility. You cannot run away from the responsibility. He is there on the stage which India has given him. He has abused the filmmaker. He has abused the country by saying that this film is a propaganda and vulgar. He is called my genocide vulgar. He is called my ethnic cleansing vulgar. He has abused me, my identity. He has supported terrorism. So the, 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 the damage which he has done to this country the damage which he has done to a filmmaker, the damage which he has done to a cause of a community, somebody has to take the responsibility. Okay, sure. And Questions the have been asked, answers will be sought. We will track has what happens run. next, absolutely, as it absolutely must. For the time being, Shudip Tosen, uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Shaina NC, Ashok Pandit for joining me on the news track. Thank you very much.